Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. If you're feeling spunky, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss anything, hit that bell. And as always, give me a thumbs up or even a thumbs down and I always love it when you comment. This is my first time using the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette and I go into that shade, I don't know how to say the name so I'm not going to, but I go into that like mauve pink shade and I place it on my outer V. I love this palette you guys, I really honestly didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do and yeah I fell um, head over heels for this palette. It's just, I don't know, it works so well. That uh, shade blended out effortlessly with no issues at all. So I go into that pink soju. I don't know how to say that word either. I'm sorry. And not pink, peach. I keep calling it pink. It's peach soju or however you say it. And I just take it on that outer uh, corner there and blend out that other shade. I go into that chlorophyll shade and I place it on my inner half of my crease area. Well, right above it, but it's kind of my crease. I don't know. It's just my eyes are slightly hooded. So anyways, I just place it up to my brow bone and to the middle of my eye. So I really love that that uh, shade. I think it's beautiful. And if you want to hear my full thoughts on the palette, I posted a video um, using it and giving my review on it. I go into that sun gaze shade. Of course I throw on some uh, NYX glitter primer. It looks like my primer is uh, kind of drying out so I think I need a new tube but anyways that's what I threw on my eyelids right there and I put that sun gazer shade right on top this shade is so beautiful and so reflective I love it um, Kaleidos always has really good shimmers I haven't bought any of their newer stuff but I have some of their older futurism palettes and I love them so again the shimmer is gorgeous this palette is so like airy feeling it feels so airy to me I don't know anyways I go into that stained glass shade this is more of a topper or an inner corner uh, just keep that in mind but I went and I placed that on top of or I should above that sun gazer shade and I just really kind of pack it on there I really do like that shade but again it's not it's kind of it's not as opaque as I would have liked so just keep that in mind I went into that mint fever and I placed that on my inner corner of my eye and I brought it up a little bit towards the inner part of my brow and then I go into that aloe cove shade and I place it on my inner corner and bub bam it looks so freaking beautiful and so stunning this alcove shade is very similar to the um, pink shimmer so keep that in mind it's kind of a topper or a, a highlighter shade in my opinion but it's beautiful. I really do love how this look turned out. I just, I can't get enough of it. I had a lot of fun with the placement of everything. I love how everything doesn't really go together, but it does go together. I don't know how to describe it, but right? It just, it goes together and it doesn't go together but it flows and it's so light and airy. I don't know, I am repeating myself, but yeah, I removed all of that fallout, which really wasn't a whole lot. It was just a little bit. And then I go into that shade, I don't know how to pronounce Nueva or whatever it is. And I place it on my lower lash line on my outer half of it. 
So yeah, there that is. And I don't even think that I added anything to that brush. It just went so far, the pigment. I put that chlorophyll shade on my inner half of my bottom lash line area, whatever, you know. And then I threw on Euphoria on my lips from Alter Ego and that LA Colors or LA, yeah, I think it's LA Colors uh, mint neon liner on my waterline. And you know, I've got lashes on. Those lashes aren't my favorite, but they work. That's the finished look. Thank you for watching. Bye.